Gentlemen, sit down. Listen up. Slow down. You move too fast. You got to make the morning last now. I'm in a pretty good mood, gentlemen. Why, you might ask? Well, two reasons. Number one, I got lucky last night. Yeah. Number two, we play the 49ers today, and they have not won a game yet this year. So, if we're considered bad at 1-7, and seven, then they must be considered in a fucking coma at 0-9. Oh but I'm actually happy for another reason. I'm happy because I realized in the middle of busting a nut last night that each week is a new start, a new beginning. Today and every day from now on is our personal Super Bowl. I don't give a shit about anything else. Today, gentlemen, we get to prove to ourselves how good we can be. We have to start somewhere. Gentlemen, let's go to two and seven today. Look, I know how hard it is to play and coach in the NFL. When I played, we wore leather helmets with no face mask, and they rubbed dirt on our head if we, if we got a concussion. Our cleats were moccasins with little nails hammered into them. We were rough back then. But that doesn't mean I'm out of touch with how the game is played today. I wish every big-mouthed sports writer who never stepped on the field in pads could be put in the middle of a play on the field to truly understand what the fuck is actually going on. I think a lot of people were just shitting their pants. Guys the size of refrigerators are running around at, at, at the speed of fucking jaguars. It's intense. It's dangerous. But it is what it is. This is the life we chose. Now, there have been rumors that McAdoo is out or will be out soon. I, I, can put, I can put those rumors to rest. McAdoo isn't getting fired, okay, guys, unless we fire him. Also, people are saying Eli could be replaced by Geno to finish out the season. I'm here to put an end to that rumor, too. Eli will be our starting quarterback unless he is benched. All right, I hope I put an end to those rumors. Gabish, Understood? Everybody got it? Okay. My mother-in-law changed her bet today. I'm sorry for telling you something different earlier in the week at the press conference. She said she went to mybookie.ag, put in the promo code, capital V-I-C, and is taking the under 42 today. She said, hey, it's too not. Hey, you, you gabados. She said, hey, you think about this. When you bet at the over, you are a loser until you win. But when you have at the under, you are a winner until you lose. Now, I can't argue with that logic. To be honest, I don't even know what the fuck she's talking about. Anyway, she and my wife are a combined 18 and 5, betting with my bookie. So just do whatever the fuck you want and leave me alone, okay? All right. I, uh, I called the league office and I told them I'm sick of the injury reports and how full of shit they are with the doubtful, questionable, blah, 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 blah. What the fuck is the difference between probable and questionable? So fuck it. Here is the official New York Giants injury report. Pew. Back. Incomprehensible. Vernon. Ankle. Remorseful. Win, knee, and Tomlinson, ankle, incandescent. Casillas, <clears throat> excuse me, Casillas, neck, and canard, quad, impossibly delicious. Goodson, ankle, and Robinson, quad, insatiable. Munson, quad, extraterrestrial. Dante Dijon. I don't even know who the fuck that is, so let's just call him dead. Okay, guys. Look. I could break this game down in a million ways. We don't pass very well anymore. We somehow went from being a defense that didn't give up points to being a defense that is ranked 29th in the league in points scored. 
Special teams seems uh, to have a brain fart every now and then. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy is hurt. That guy is out. And this guy is this. And this guy is that. Fuck that shit. I can make excuses all fucking day long. No more excuses. Today, let's go out and forget about everything, guys. Just go out and play like when we were in high school. And we played for the love of the game. Let's all remember what that was like. When we got up every day and loved to go to practice and then we couldn't wait for Friday night to come. Look around, gentlemen. Each person in this room depends on everyone else if we're going to be successful. That's how it is in football. Ten guys can do their job on a pass play, but if one guy blows his blocking assignment, the play falls apart. Okay. I'm done. Not uh, much more I can say. Go eat. Go stretch. Go jerk off. Go take a dump. Go do whatever you got to do to get your minds right because I'm cool if you make honest mistakes out there. But I will tear your fucking heads off if you give up on your teammates. That I cannot accept. Okay, I'll see you guys in the field. I get the fuck out of my face. Oh, guys, go big blue. Each and every one of you. I should have went to the fucking hardware business with my father. Fuck was I doing?